This is Danny from Weird and Wise, and this right here is the Diddly Bow Broom. And let's have a look at how the heck you can make one of these crazy contraptions. So the key part to all of this is your broom. This is one I picked up for five bucks, but you could spend more, you could spend less, or maybe you've got one hanging around already. Next up is choosing what scale length you want. For this, I went with 24 inches because it's pretty average for cigar box guitars and diddly bows, but hey, there's no real rules to all of this. When you've decided on your scale length, leave a bit of space for a tuning peg and saw the excess off of the stick. Here I'm using a bass machine head simply because it's what I had close to me at the time, but you can make anything work. Next, you want to make a flat surface for your machine head to sit on. You can saw, you can sand, whatever works for you. All that's left here to do is drill a hole that will fit the cylinder of the machine head through and secure the machine head in place. For the bridge, I'm using this glass bottle because it's got a nice bevel to the neck where the guitar string can sit. Make sure it's in a position where the string can run straight down the broomstick and make a mark in the same area on the brush. Next, you want to drill out the marked area so you can feed a guitar string through it. Don't make this hole too big, otherwise the ball end of the guitar string won't hold in place. Once you've fed the guitar string through, grab your glass bottle bridge and secure it in place. To do this myself, I just used cable ties. You could use a bit of string. You can pretty much use anything you want, so long as it holds it in place. Once your glass bottle bridge is secure in place, go ahead and thread the string through the machine head and tune it up. Here I'm using a 42 gauge low E guitar string, but you can use any gauge string that you like. I kept the electronics real simple. It is just a single coil guitar pickup wired straight to a guitar cable. This is a bit of a monstrosity, but I think it works perfectly for this. The wiring for this is fairly straightforward. The pickup has two wires, a white wire, which is the live and a bare wire, which is the ground. And conveniently, this guitar cable is color coordinated in the same way. All I needed to do was use a soldering iron to heat up the solder joins of the pickup, remove the two wires and replace them with the two wires from the guitar cable, making sure that they go on the same way as the ones that have just come off. As the wiring for this is quite exposed, you could also use a hot glue gun just to go over the same solder joins and give them some protection. If you want to give it a quick test to make sure it's working, plug the cable into an amp and just touch the magnet poles of the pickup with a screwdriver. Once you've got your pickup all wired and working, you just need to place it under the string and you can screw it directly in place. And that is just one way of many you can make the broomstick diddly bow. There are no real rules to this apart from having fun and staying safe. But most importantly, how does it sound? So let me break down what the setup is here. This is plugged straight into a jam jar amp, which is built by the jam jar amps. I'll put a link to them because I have fallen in love with this thing. And that is plugged into this here speaker, which is just a Jensen speaker. A house inside of a retro old fan heater so it's a pretty rudimentary setup it looks a bit flashy but it is as rudimentary as this here diddly bow and to top it off as well my slide here is literally a glass bottleneck which I've made using a glass bottle and all together sounds a little something like this <laughs> There you go, that is the broomstick diddly bow. Please, 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 if you do make one, I would love to see it. Um, any questions, send us a message, drop a comment, and let me know what you think. Uh, would you be caught playing one of these? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you made the broomstick diddly bow in the past? Because I'm pretty dang sure I ain't the first person, but it is a whole lot of fun, and it's just a good back to basics 
instrument. So give it a try if you want. And until the next time, keep it weird and keep it wired. Hmm, weird and wired.